Hello everyone, welcome back to the chess grind. I think before I start the game today, I just want to ask everyone what's something that they've done to help improve their chess game, maybe uh, early on. I know a common answer is just puzzles and tactics, but I'm curious if there's something else that people have done. Uh, I'd like to know uh, what you have done to improve your game. Please let me know. Okay, knight c6, okay. I guess I could push the d4 pawn. <clears throat> Maybe that's not the best course of action. I guess I could protect the pawn. Could always go here too. I think I'll just develop the king side. Okay. I'm okay with this, and then I can just get the knight out on c3. I think this is okay. Oh, check. Sure. What's the play here? Defend with the bishop on e2, right? I think it's just defend with the bishop. Um, okay, I think I'm just gonna trade here. I think he's looking for the trade this way. I'll offer the trade. I think this is okay. Knights defended, bishops defended, h pawns defended. I could probably, let's see, let's see if there's a way to attack his queen. I suppose I could push his queen around. I'm worried about this pawn, about the g pawn. So I think I would rather just castle. I can always attack his queen. This is protected by my queen. This king is open this way. Obviously, we um. No, he's just gonna push a pawn here. I think doing a move in the center, getting the pawns out, is probably the play here. I do have this. So his bishop is hanging here. Wonder if I can punish that at all. He has a hanging pawn here. Hmm. Maybe I just play a developing move. I could attack his queen again, but I'm kind of overextending with my knight there. I think I'll just play a developing move. Um, okay, so I don't really want to go for the trade with the queens here. I could attack his queen if he moves to a weird square. I can always go on c7 and then get the fork. But it seems kind of early to do that. Maybe I do just trade queens and then I can get my rook out into an open file. He does just take there. I can attack his queen too. I'll try this. It opens up an open file. If he wants to trade, I think this is okay. Um, now I have an easy way to jump around like this. I need to protect my pawn as well. So do I take with the f or a rook? Maybe it doesn't matter too much at this point. I don't know if it mattered so much there. Okay, I mean the knight's protected. Maybe I just look for this fork. Maybe I run away. 
I think I'll just look for this fork. I, it's probably too early, but... I need to keep my e pawn friend here in mind as well. Can't forget about him. Um, I'm up a piece. So this is a trade. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. I'm fine with this trade, honestly. Um, I do have check here. Okay. I can snag a pawn. Let's see. I also do have check here. I wonder if I should just get the pawn or go for check. I also have this pawn. I think this is fine. Um, okay. It's an odd move, but it's okay. Let's see, no, that's not check anymore. Mm, I think I just run here. Uh, I don't really want to block uh, my bishop in here. Maybe just this is okay, huh? Okay. Um, I have a nice fork here. Okay. You can take that, that's fine. Um, let's see. I'll go for the check. Go for the check. Check. <clears throat> check, he goes here, I have check. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Maybe I just defend. I'm trying to snag his bishop here. <clears throat> See, let's see. Goal. Don't lose on time. Maybe I should start. Oh. Kind of fail to re recognize that. Probably should have taken that, huh? It's 
protected. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just push my king up. Oopsies. Mess that up. Oh, he's got the fork going on me. Damn it. Okay, kind of have to run. Uh, this kind of pins his knight. Mm, this is defended. There's check, I can run away. Hmm. Which way should I go? I guess take the pawn. It's a discover check there. Oh, I should have put my... This would be so sad to lose on time. Things are, oh, that's a blunder. That's a huge blunder, damn. Ugh. Probably should have pushed my king there. Oh, blunder. Frustrating. Um, oh, I probably should have went there, huh? GG. Lost on time there, but I think I played okay. Um, I had a handful of blunders where I just kind of let my um, pieces get captured. I don't know if I necessarily had mate anywhere there. I'm sure I had a better move to find mate. Um, I just couldn't find it under the time pressure. I think I did okay kind of pushing his king around. But... I think I blew a little bit too much time. Excuse me, time in the opening too. But I yeah, I did think about this pawn push. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the review. Okay, so I made this move one move too early, or I guess one move late, rather. Ignore an opportunity to win a temple by threatening a queen. Oh, right. Because b5 was protected by the bishop. Right, I kind of failed to notice that. I did think about jumping the knight to b5, um, but I didn't want to overextend the knight, but I kind of failed to realize that the bishop was protecting him there. That's okay. Looks like this was okay. Okay, so it wanted me to take with the A rook. Wonder why. I don't really know the reasoning there. Hmm. So I guess the check was better here with the knight. Wasn't quite sure what the follow up was going to be. This loses a bishop, but the position was losing no matter what. Okay. 
So the en engine recommends d5 check, but wasn't my rook in danger here on d1? Isn't it better to move this out of the way? Nice fork, you'll be winning material. Yeah, I was pretty happy about this fork. I'm glad I spotted that. I'm trying to get better at spotting those. Good job, that's what I would have played too. Good to know. This steps away from the checking bishop, yep. Okay, so best move there, that's good. Steps away from the checking knight. Yes, this is the way. This evades check from the knight. Okay, also another good move. Uh, so protecting the knight was the play here, okay. Yeah, I think at this point, since I had a really big um, advantage, I think, in material and positionally, I probably should have gotten these pawns out into the game. Um, a lot sooner. They were very passive, but they could have been uh, sort of offensive. Hmm. And the bishop was in a good spot because it was um, blocking his king from running out through f6. So yeah, I probably should have left that there. Makes sense. So here, this allows his king to escape on f6. Great move. H3 is a great move. This leads to checkmate, but you had a but you had a way to get there faster. Good job hitting them with a double check combination of winning material. And then so I kind of misplayed. Yeah, I didn't want to go back to F4. Um I didn't want to end up in a uh, repetition type of situation. I think I should have just um taken this bishop. I don't know why I ignored that. That was kind of just free for the taking. I think I was just starting to feel the time pressure here. Great move. Yeah, that was a great move because um, f5 was defended by the rook there. So I had mate in five here. Okay. This evades check from the bishop, and then I played a bad move. Hmm. Oh, sure. So I had a discovered check there. I guess really any light square bishop move here would have been okay. Besides g4. Really, I just shouldn't have put anything on g4, I think, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think here I should have just... Um, reinforced the g4 pawn with the f pawn or even i think the h pawn probably the f pawn g2 king was a good move because it blocks his king from potentially going to h3 putting pressure on a pin piece is important tactical theme yeah, so taking with the rook, yeah. I realized that in my head after I made that move. Uh, I was pretty happy about this move. Um, previously in the past, ugh, I kind of tend to forget that you can throw a piece in front of a pawn if you have this discovered check here. So I was happy I found that at least. You found the tactic, though you were in time trouble. Okay. Yep. One of the best moves. This kicks an opponent's bishop, and then I completely overlooked it. Why did I overlook that? That seems so easy. I was just feeling the time pressure here. I think that's all it was. Obviously, it's a big mistake, but I was just feeling the pressure. <laughs> yeah, then here, I also just failed to realize that um, my piece was under attack. So let's go back. So I was up seven points, and I kind of threw away three pieces at the end there. So 
Bit of a bummer. I'm gonna just go through a lot of this. Um, I don't think it's too necessary to go through all these moves. But I think this is just a case of time pressure and failing to notice some simple attacks from the opponent. So GG, I, I was pretty happy with my performance kind of towards up until about here-ish, somewhere around here, and then I made some bad moves. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm happy with this game. I thought it was okay. Um, I think I spotted like two or three different tactics there that I was happy about. So GG8031 GR from Greece and see you guys in the next game.